Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How are you guys doing? Today I'm going to have my full review for you guys on the SmartCap CaseWorks case for the iPad 2 as well as the new iPad from the very awesome people over at the High Shop. I've reviewed a number of the High Shop's products in the past and I've generally liked them. I think they make some pretty good stuff. So you can pick this one up over on the High Shop's website and probably the best thing about this case is the fact that it is available for the fantastically awesome price of only seven dollars. That's right, not seven dollars, not seventeen or twenty-seven, seven bucks. Um, I see a lot of people rocking their iPads with the smart cover um, and nothing on the back, really. Uh, which is probably not a great idea because the back of your iPad can still get all scratched up and, and so on and so forth. So, you know, you really should have something on the back of it, whether it be a skin or, you know, a case like this one. I mean, who doesn't have seven bucks, really? It's available in a multitude of different colors, including most of the colors that will match your Apple Smart Cover. And uh, I have the clear frosted one here. I realize there's probably looks like there's nothing in this package right now, but there is, in fact, something in the package. So let's go ahead and crack it open and check it out. Inside the package, you're simply going to get the cover itself. Nothing super fancy going on here as far as packaging goes. You do get a paper iPad, which is, you know, kind of cool. Fiora got super excited about that. She was like, can I have this? And I was like, well, you probably, or you could just play with my iPad. You don't have to walk around like a child with no iPad holding a paper iPad. You know, it's, it's cool. And then here we have the actual case itself. As I mentioned, it is a thin TPU type material. It's going to protect the back of your iPad from scratches and, you know, mild bumps. Um, there's not a whole lot of drop protection here, but there is some. Uh, so it will protect it from minor bumps and stuff like that and uh, scratches as well. So let's go ahead and take the iPad and we'll throw it in there. Now this one is actually for the iPad 2 according to the package, but I've been using it on my new iPad, on the iPad 3, and uh, it, it works just fine for me. I've had no problems with it at all so there you go. I actually like this case a lot um, I love the look of the clear frosted back so that you know you can still see all of your Apple stuff and everything and that's as easy as it is to put it on guys you just pop it on I love the look of the clear frosted back so that you know you can still see your Apple logo and your iPad and your writing down there and all that kind of stuff it kinda looks like there's nothing on the back of the iPad right now but there is in fact you know this clear frosted case on the back which is kinda cool so let's go ahead and take a look at all the ports and cutouts and so on and so forth. Here you have your headphone uh, cutout, which is a pretty decent size. Um, this case is very slim, so it doesn't need to be super big. Uh, most of your headphones should work in here, including your oversized DJ jacks, if that's what you're using. Uh, then you have your microphone cut up a, a cutout up here, which lines up absolutely perfectly. Um, here is your sleep-wake button, as well as your camera cutout, both of which also line up absolutely perfectly. Moving around here to the side, you have a single cutout for your orientation lock and mute switch, as well as your volume rocker. Um, no problem accessing either one of those. I don't even have to use my nail. I can just flick it with my finger, just like so. No problems whatsoever. Moving down here to the bottom, you have a large cutout for your speaker grill, and then a cutout for your 30-pin dock connector. Didn't have any problems with those either. Um, all my third-party cables work in there just fine. Um, the only really big cutout on this is for the speaker grill. Um, if you whack it right on there, you might dent the iPad. But, I mean, chances of that happening are pretty slim. So, I think you're okay there. And then if you look here along the side, you can see that it does have a cutout along here along the side. So, it does, in fact, work with the Apple Smart Cover, which I also happen to have right here. Let's take it, pop it on, and there you go. It also works just fine with the Apple Smart Cover, uh, which I love. I love this look of the Smart Cover on the front with, you know, the clear frosted back. It, it looks like you're just rocking the Smart Cover until you, you know, flip it around and then you realize you do have the protection here on the back of this clear, uh, clear frosted uh, TPU case, which is pretty awesome. So, you know, the fact that this is only seven bucks um, it's pretty hard for me to not recommend this, guys. I've been using this setup for a few days now. I really like it. So, there you go. Um, if you're one of those people who walks around with the back of your iPad unprotected because you just don't like big bulky cases, 
um, this is definitely worth checking out. Head over to the High Shops website, pick up, you know, one or two or even three for seven dollars. I mean, pick a few different colors, you know, whatever. And uh, check it out. It's really awesome. I really like it. Uh, great job to the people over there at the High Shop for making a back protection case for the iPad that doesn't cost a fortune. Seven bucks is pretty darn awesome. And that's going to do it for my review today, guys. Don't forget to smash the like button down there if you found this video helpful. Head over to the High Shop's website, pick up a couple of these. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Rock on.